Yes, sir. We are not on road now. Yes, sir. We are not on Akure road. Now the harness road because of the bad road of the other Binyaochi road. And the main road we put the tape it is to assess. Yeah. Uh, our cheese, our and other part, and other part, and other. And other part you, of this. If you see, sir, this road is supposed to be two lane. You see the bridge. Look at the bridge. Uh, I already yes. stated that it's two lane. Uh, yes. Even the communities that give the government road a big land, whether we put the other road to yes. the going, this one are for coming. Yes. But now they don't come. They put a uh, gutter for both sides of this very road. Or oh, the and tiny road. Though. Yes, on this tiny road, they don't put gutter and they not cover and they expose and see for both sides. See got at this side. See got at this side. Now federal government they do this one, so yeah. Now federal government they do. See got at for this side. See got at for this side. They not cover anyone. Even the contract of guess about the head. Now go where I think they remove and the other time. See and the got I don't even they filled up. Nana. Where will fish? See see got at. See got at. Where will fish? Got at. If we reach front there. Those guys they just see guy now. They not cover. They not cover. Cast this one. Even see guy they going to leave for us. So now very cocoon they. Pass and wait, make and they come off of granite and sand, see, and they don't see, and it be like grave. One motor, one trailer for. for we have the assets, and that's how they go. So. Uh, for frontier. Okay. See, and they, they all dig everywhere down. From here till you want to the next two community. Yes. Like, say, they go knife for side now, so they dig and down. There goes the four put. See, and this I don't grow, finish. See this side. It's about there. When I did run that commentary just now and my guides too, when I hear waiting in talk, this gutter, now one federal agency called Idea and Federal Government Road to Bene Akure Road. Now, one of those federal government agencies now I give out this contract. The contractors don't even abandon this work already. And now the community themselves. Now then come they try to carry out pellets. They not do this one now because say yeah. They cover them because say they never they even get them for money, say no go do the name for the people. You see on the other part of the road too. You see another Bene Akure road, like so they go out on local side now, now face right now. But some lanes they they just call the gutter pool, they not cast them, they not do anything. And they just abandon it. Now the community themselves when they carry out palliative measures to ensure say they feel the drive enter their various homes. It's also important that state government go they prevail on contractors who can they work for those states. Any contractor of federal agencies with federal government bring on. Now the duty of the relevant ministry to collaborate with them. They will see their plans, where they get, agree with the plan, say we. They will monitor with whatever they are doing for them. But this one, they'll just come, they'll just do whatever they, do, they like, they come out. And at the end of the day, vehicle can fall into it. People can also lose their lives in that process. Okay, good morning, sir. Your name, sir? My name is uh, Odia Shepita, the Okagile of Ora Community. Okay. Sir, so, may you tell us what thing they have for this, especially this abandoned gutter? At the road, uh, what thing lead to the current situation? I will not come to work. This morning now they feel everywhere. Yes, we have to uh, to ahead to this work this morning because of uh, this road. It's a federal government road, and uh, it's a double lane. We have the bypass there, the new bypass there. There's a lane going to Akure, double lane. Yes. But the federal government have refused to do it. But what? Oh, suddenly, what we had last month was a gutter through our community, yes. and it was a gutter that they, they, they run and left. Now the gutters, you can see the gutter now. Because there's a heavy erosion here. What we experience now, there's no road in the community. The gutter you are, you are, you are, you are seeing now, in several occasions, we have big, we have a summer college here, a secondary school, we have a summer primary school, or a different road of the artists. There are many times big children before the bridge being carried by erosion with this gutter. And to and we have lost one life at Oluku there at Ezoma Primary School inside there two months ago. Oh. So this gutter is posing us a threat. We cannot go to our home and our children cannot cross road to the, their different schools. So we are appealing for the concern uh, to, to the state government, the federal government, and who is concerned.
to come and put this cutter in place because they have dug this hole and it's not a threat to us. Vehicle cannot enter his house, human being cannot cross. Even there was a man that day, assistant of, of, of the assistant of our John Way, they also spoke about our community. He sleep inside the gutter. It was at the mercy of God that we were able to rescue him with his vehicle. So even last night, there was a vehicle here, a trailer. He collapsed into the, into the trench with a bike, and that bike, whether it's, 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 the man is alive now or not, we don't even know. So we are appealing to all many uh, people, the state government, the federal government, and FEMA that are concerned for this Bini Akura road to come and help us. Because this road, initially, we usually uh, uh, have few vehicles, mini bus, cars that are applied to the road. But for now, we have trailers, also trailers, tankers, cows that are applying this road. Millions of them, they are damaging the road. Some of them, one of them almost climbed my house the other day. This is my house here. He ran across this, this, this uh, sandboard yes. and stopped at my, this, my house here. It was my, it was at the court of mercy. If not, my children and I would have been somewhere else now. So I'm appealing to the state government, the federal government, and people that are concerned to come and visit those for us. Why is the road now becoming too busy? Yes. Uh, what we heard that the people that play on the road, they are all playing this road now. From the north, from the south, from the anywhere, from the west east, this is their road now. And it's supposed to be a double lane. It's just a single lane. You also know the name of the contractor handling this project? No, they it, came. I don't know the name of the contractor. They don't have signboard on, on site. They don't have signboard. Yes, they don't have signboard. When they came, I asked a question from the manager. I said it's federal government. But there was no signboard, nothing, nothing. Your name again, sir? My name is Odessa Peter, the Okarele of Ora Community. Thanks for talking to Nigeria also. Thank you. These are palliative. You see, uh, now individuals do this one so that they get access to enter a compound. Because on this side of the Bini Akule Road, they carry the water, they come. At this point, they stop. And the water, they cause gully for all this place. You see the community people now, they do this palliative to slow down the process of water so that me another gully because not start. Just here, the gully has started already, and look at the main road. Look at the, on the other side too, just look at the main road. The gully already start. The community just they do this one, not say one whole water, they just want do one so that the office slow down the process a little to avoid uh, bigger issues because lately lately they say even carry one small picking as i was told but i go ask some of the people here may i hear what i go before i come ask a question in a country where our constitution tell government say the primary duty of governance is to save life and property see what agencies contractors they do for our state now, Bini Akure Road with this. Like I said, me, I, 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 I get issue with the kind of leadership we have over time. And even that of the followership, we will also get to. Both of them, they get issue with them. If you see on this point, the only just cast the floor, leave this trap of death. And here you have so much children, so much children in this area. So one goes check, so the contract the don't carry some but go. We'll try to go locate her after we get yeah. as wide as your eye can see. Now, so this thing be this death, uh, this uh, trap of death for where area where you feel get uh, which children, which children full. Just imagine now, even so standard, I don't know. They just take this water from them, they come as they look at the danger of it now. You see that with time. The road itself will not take good. We will not cave him. The road will not take good. We will not cave him. So we are you. We, are, we don't. In fact, we don't know the contractor who is handling this project. But the state government should also know the contractor where where federal government give where they handle this project because this Benin Akure Road we know say now federal government road already. So the state government should know. The contractor which 
which the contractor that is handling this uh, project so that they can call the, pro uh, the contractor to order. It becomes so important to do that because the life of our children, of our wives, of our relatives is key to us and we can't afford to be losing lives of our loved ones because of negligence of those who, who, who entrusted power into their hands. Because if they value their lives and the lives of their loved ones, they won't be doing this to us. You just look at children, you see the risk. And look at the iron, look at the risk our children are passing through on a daily basis. And this, I'm saying, that is very, very unacceptable to us as people. Let me go now to come ask some of those people up there uh, some of the challenges they have been facing and the, uh, the negative impact this Abaddon project has cost them. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my brother. Please, can you tell us your name, sir? A mock pipe, you know, sir, is my day. Your position in the community, sir? Well, a tycoon of, of the association. Okay, okay, sir. You understand this? Uh, you see, you can see what we are doing this morning. Many things happen here. And uh, so this the road. I don't know whether it's the federal government that approved, they approved this road or they are doing it for federal government. You can see the culture is not up to about uh, how many feet is this? It's not, it's, it's, it's nothing. Two feet. You, the funny thing now, they are problem to our our uh, enemy people, uh, our problem again. You see culture about two days ago, the heavy trailer we had fell into that death. And some people died. School children cannot cross the road again. You can see the problem they have caused to us. Yeah, so, so they even not because of the fault of our community. They have to follow the cutter, the tire itself uh, erosion, to rescue about four, four or five uh, children. You understand me? Going to school. What are, what, what's the problem? They are not, they, no, I don't see anything they are doing. You can see this morning now. We have to uh, wake up all the landlord and landlady. What can we do? Let's just help ourselves. You can see what we are doing now. Yes. It's bad. And not only that again, even if you are driving, you are on a bike or a kekena pair. The way trailer is not passing here, it's a big problem to us. They cannot pass it because of other areas that block Ekpoma Road and other areas that they see. This is the road they are from here, accurate to where they are going. So please, I'm begging, I'm begging, we don't know where we are going to that. Federal governments are not doing anything. Uh, states, I don't know, although this don't concern the state, but the state can still intervene. To so speak to federal government that to come to, to arrest you. If the governor, to me, uh, we are expecting that the governor should pay a visit to us. I've not seen, I don't believe it, because the here now is over, it's a dead trap. And we don't want to share blood more than the one they have shared. Please, that is our concern. That is, I'm totally concerned about the road thank you, and sir. the area. Thank you, sir. Please, thank you very much. Beautiful, sir. Thank you, my dear. Yes, sir. You see the sand already. See, I'm just look at because of these whatever the debris come from this side. And my brother, because you me no say you get idea for this job very well. Uh -huh. So me ready to see this road where they use say now rubbish. Uh -huh. So analyze them for us. Now the twelve men are supposed to use. Which one is also use twelve men for inside for this one? Okay. Okay. What about the other one? Twelve men they supposed to use for everything. Everything. And which element they use now? Uh, maybe this one. This one is for syrup. This one is 10 ml. Okay. Then they use for the, the one where they take stand down. So, so for gutter water. now, for gutter to carry water channel. This this, one, this one, all those ones will not be here at all. Okay. okay. You see, you see one thing they pay me inside. We cannot be spending so much to do rubbish. You spend our money to kill us. You spend our money to kill us. Nigerians are paying tax. All till now, the task we are paying is like punishment, like people who are paying money to come and execute them. And that is the fact. For any thinking human being, it has been told. You don't know, you know, need the uh, spiritualist to tell you, say, this one is a boo boo yeah, yeah. But first, we get conscience, we they fear God. And they break, you will pray to God, say, God, protect your life. You open, I do this one for where people, children, want to pass. 
Uh, for Tani Road, wait, not reach the road, not reach 30 feet now. Nah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. No, vehicle are falling here already. Yeah. Uh, people are covering evidence. The vehicle are falling here. Yeah, every day. Every day. So, sir, we are not record casualties. People are dying here. This road. Please, we need double road here. Yeah, double lane. Not to cut a double lane. We need double lane. This other, other community. This Akure road. We need double lane. This rubbish work they are doing here. We don't need it. Please, we don't need gutter here. We need double lane. If you go to that uh, uh, bridge now, you see, see a double lane. That double uh, lane. You see the double lane there. Yes. Provision for, uh -huh. for double lane. Yes. I don't know the reason why they abandon this uh, double lane here. I don't know the reason why. They're supposed to pressure government to please. And moreover, the, uh, the Abuja road, they are blocked. Yes. All the old trailer, they are passing this Akura road here. Yeah. And the Akura road now is not up to 30, uh, 30 feet here. Yeah. Um, our children, we carry children to school up and down. They are dying. Please, there's help us to do this road to uh, double lane. Please, we need federal government assistance in this road. We don't need just this rubbish gutter they are doing. We need double lane. Double lane. That's what we need in this Akura road. This uh, uh, community. Uh, this uh, other community. Okay. If you go forward. You uh, uh, in your way. You yeah. go forward. You 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 go forward. We need this double lane in this Akure road. Please, we need double lane because trailer they are passing here. No more road in Abuja. Uh, this uh, uh, Bina, road. Bina, Bina, Kaya, they are road. blocked. Please, we need this thing. Urgent. Please, we need it. I beg. Thanks we need for it. We don't need water. Please, that's what uh, you can you can hear from the from the masters, the biggest office, the biggest office in Nigeria is the office of the citizens. Those are the trailers. As you can hear from the citizens that they are expressing their their displeasure, you can see if hundred vehicles pass here a day, ninety eight percent of it now every duty vehicle. 98% of it now every duty vehicle and look look at the road, as small as the road. And they come. <laughs> eh. They are coming back again. Just see another one. They are coming. So this road for is for every duty. And upon all the trap where they hear. The cousin put another trap where they kill our children. You know, see us now. Apart from, apart from. So very far what I have told you, you see, you see, it's meant for every duty. And with what they have done, now this road now will not take good. It will not cave in. It will cave in into this uh, yeah, yeah, gutter. Well done, brother. Uh, can you tell us your name? Just tell us your name. My name is uh, Kadri John. Okay. Uh, uh, I am very happy that you people came here today to look at what we are passing through. This is a major road. This is the road that leads from the south south to the southwest. This is Pini Akure Road. This road leads from Moluku straight down to Owo. And over three years now, we have been experiencing heavy duty traffic because the vehicles that are supposed to take through Ekoma, uh, Auchi, Ekoma to Bini, they now take through Auchi, Afuze, uh, Sabogidara, Sobe. And come out at uh, Oluku here because the Bini Ekpoma Federal Road is not good. This is also a federal road. So we'll be having issues with this road because of everyday traffic. This road, if you look under the bridge there, you see that they dualize the bridge yes. and they create space for double lane. And uh, over time, the poles have been adjusted to make accommodation for this double lane. But what we are seeing here now is that the provision for double lane has been ab abandoned. And they are not digging. Somebody came as a contractor. So we were expecting that this road be dualized. But suddenly somebody came and said, uh, before to three years, they'll be coming here. Julius Berger came. Another company came. Suddenly we saw somebody we have not seen here before because the poles have been shifted for dualization. Yes. He came and said, we thought maybe they wanted to start to dualize the road because the heavy duty we are experiencing. You have been here now. You see that more than 100 tankers have passed. Yes. That's what we express. Children cannot cross the road again. To the opposite you side. To, you have to hold your child to cross when there's no rain because of the heavy duty traffic. And they came here and this is this is 8 mm for crying out loud. Let's just move in closer. This is this is 8 mm. Yes. 
the minimum you can use for a culvert is 12 mm and this is less than two feet if you are digging a cover cut out with this traffic you should be at least four feet deep and we are wondering what the coral came to do the worst of it now was that the coral came and dug everything open in rainy season unfortunately for him the rain covered everything and dug up he put the sand and the stone on the road and water washed them away so we are assuming that he has run at the loss so he has run away for the past seven weeks we have not seen the contractor here he has gone away he has packed his property and left so the work is totally abandoned everywhere he opened up we cannot cross what you met here today is us doing palliative yes. we are trying to create from our street to the major road so that we can cross most of us cannot drive our cars to our house again what we are seeing, doing now today that you met us is for us to be able to come out and enter our house. So we are crying out. We are crying out to every women in Nigeria. They should look into our plight. We are experiencing heavy to the traffic that we have not experienced here in the past four years on this road due to the failure of the Benin Ekpoma Ochi Road. Secondly, we are experiencing as we don't have access to our homes. You park your car along the road because of the activities of the contractor that came here. So today, we decided today, we are going to create time and try to salvage palliative at our junction so that we can go in and come out. That's what we are doing. But all this work that we have done here, they are substandard. If you look at the already casted one, they are already caving in. They are caving in, yes. They are absolutely. caving in. So, so please, we are calling on the relevant authority to please prevail on the corridor to do the right thing. To do the right thing, even to federal government to dualize this road for us. If they cannot repair Bini Auchi, Bini Ekpoma Auchi road, the traffic is coming here. It will get to a time. The road is already bad at the Sobei phone houses because of the influence. If you look here now, we have been standing here. Before 20 minutes, we'll see 100 tankers passing. Yes. This road is not meant for tankers. So please, we are having heavy flow of traffic, heavy flow of erosion, and the the trenches that were dug for cover have been abandoned. If you look at it, you see seals have covered up everything it did. Yes. You see the rod he put on the road, they are all covered up because the depth is not there. So the coral should come back and do the right work. Why the federal government should please dualize this road for us and repair the alternative, the major road. This is an alternative to these trucks. It's longer, it's more. It's not cost effective for them to pass this road because the other one is bad and it can spread up to three, four days. That's why they are taking, see there, that's why they are taking this road. Both Dangote, both Poa, both uh, NMPC, both Shafa, all trucks pass through this road. And they are coming from Agara, Ogara Depot or they are carrying cement to the south, south, or the southwest, or the south. They all take this road now because there's no alternative for them to take. Please, we are calling on them to salvage this place for us. We are in serious predicament. You can't allow your child to go to school on the floor on the day. You have to hold your child and cross this road because of the flow of traffic we've never experienced before. And the road is caving in. So please, we were worried about the road. Unfortunately, the corridor came and it cleared our pains. So we are calling on government to please look into this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. They just look at the substandard materials. Without them too, you can see they are all substandard. That is why they waste projects. That is why I always use the word every project that you are seeing is planned to fail. It's deliberate for project to fail because of the kind of materials which they are using to carry out uh, projects in the state. You can't even stand. <laughs> on the side of the or on the of the road, just look at. If two vehicles are coming, you are coming. That's the end. That's the truth. Papa, everywhere local. Everywhere local. The level of wickedness and greed in this country, eh? It's becoming too much. So just look at the road that is not even good. It's gradually caving in because of what they have done here. Yeah.
If they join me in Abini, uh, Akure Road, now they already. If you are joining me, just look at. This is the base, oh, the base. The base of the, of the gutter. It's less than two feet. It's even less than two feet. Look at the base. The base has been washed off. Even waiting at that do base, not reach, it not reach four inches. Waiting, waiting four inches, one go see for there. They just spawn there like that, but I move. This is what they are, this is some of the things they have abandoned. And like they said, they said they've removed all their equipment from site. They also came to pull out their sandboard in the night from the area. That is where me am better. Any sandboard I see, I will snap it. There are some which I have snapped. When I will go there a few days to, a few days after, the sandboard will not be there. Just look at. Let me jump in. <laughs> Just look at. A job that has not been completed. A job that has not been completed. Just see. You see the crack? Look at the side. On both sides. A job that has not been completed. You just see. Just see. Our state government, they do us. Now, so federal government, they do us. Now, so local government itself, they do us. All of them are just gagging against the people. Just look at it. You see, God is already forming from this point. You can see the cut. Now, see her now. Now, see here. Now, go, just go. The wall either they cost. That's why they cost some Just see. See her. See her. See her. See job. See job with the See job. See her. See waiting the cast of people. See her. See the base of gutter. Just see base of gutter. See base. See what they have done. See her. They don't even take poor concrete for glass before they even put the They rod. put the rod down, the poor concrete. They don't put the rod down. See her. They just put the rod down. See yeah, what they did. They put the rod down. They just pour rubbish. You see, say, see, you see, say, shake no again. you see, say, the shake. Ah, you see, yeah. now, now one other thing is shake out. So, see, yeah. one yeah, other. Remove that big one. Maybe see. Oh, see what that cement there under the rod. So, you know, they, uh, they come. Yeah, job, my cement supposed to be under the rod, man. You know, there I go there. You know, say, uh, where the cement there? Yeah, nah, where cement there? No cement. Where cement there? A summa say yeah, devil better pass them. Just imagine. Just imagine. Well, I'm um, at the cross to the other side of Bini. Bini Akurero, sorry, please. So, see the gutters already, the abandoned one. But just look at the school. Me, I show, me, I show now the sandboard. There's no even access, no access at all in front of the school. Look at Isomo College, Aura. Maybe this. Look at the school there. The school said, with the cover up. State not good, federal not good, local government not good. Which one come good? And uh, left his unity. Which one are good inside? Yeah, yeah. Uh, which one are good inside? This is in front of front of the secondary school. No, no weird the children. No weird, no weird. Let me also shock you. I never say anything yet to you. You if I talk say the state not get leadership, some people see open their mouth. They talk say uh, leadership day. Does this place look like a place with leader? With leadership, just look at front of school. Just look at this trap from beginning to the end. Look at this trap that is here. Uh -huh. yeah. for, for this iron, don't die now. Uh -uh. If you want to jump or you want to enter inside, you see heavy duty vehicle. You see heavy duty vehicle. But they join me here in front of his almost secondary school. See, God is gradually coming up here. Look at.
From here, this job to Ewoneka. And then you're digging the zoo. To Ewoneka. See ya. Come out the school. See, just see this place. I bet snap here for me. Just, just imagine. Boat. Just imagine. Just imagine. You see. It's a kind of job. As you can see. I hear the dog cast and reach. The dog cast here reach. I hear the cast and reach. On the other side, dog cast a very long stretch too. Okay, get ready or walk. They'll pass. Just imagine. So I'm using this medium to appeal to a just state government. I'm appealing to the Ministry of Education. I'm appealing to the Ministry of Environment. I'm appealing to the Ministry of Road and Bridges and other sister agencies that are saddled with such responsibility to actually come to the aid of the people, especially the students and pupils in this area. This poses serious danger to the lives of our children, to the lives of our children. So I'm prevailing on government to, uh, those state government to step up action, to prevail on this contractor, to fish out this contractor that has come to Edo State to put our life at risk, to fish out the contractor and ensure that they do the needful. My name remain left is Samuel Saginawaya, holding briefs for Niger Wash.